Hi, my name is Tammy. Thank you so much for watching this video. So first, we'll take a look at your Google business listing and talk about that. So what it takes to get into the Google Map Pack listing is an optimized Google listing, having everything filled out properly. Hours of operation, services, location, areas, pictures, and we like to geotag our pictures. It gives it a little extra boost for SEO. Having a minimum of 25 reviews. I know it could be a little difficult to get people to take the time to write a review, but one thing you could do is make a flyer with a QR code on it and just give it to your client after you perform a service. And they could just scan it right there and it'll take them to your Google business listing. Just making it as easy as possible for them to leave you a review. Also in this space, you're allowed to have 750 words to describe your business and what you do. So having that filled out with some keywords as well will really optimize your listing. So I did see you have some here, just probably adding more content with more keywords would help you out um, and really optimize your listing. Also, what we do for our clients is citations. So that's your business name, address, and phone number in different directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, BBB, and Facebook. So what we do is just build out 200 of them so you can far surpass your competitors and it takes them a while to catch back up to you. So over here, to get into the Google Map Pack, it takes the two things that we just mentioned, an optimized listing and citations. And below here is the organic search. This is where your website really comes into play. So using a paid tool that I, um, I have, I looked up your competitors website and analytics just so you can see how easy it would be to beat them out if you did have a website. So the DR is the power and trust that a website has from Google. You gain trust from the no number of relevant backlinks. So a backlink is basically any website that has a link that leads back to your website and the referring domains are just the websites that host those backlinks. Organic keywords is where you're going to show up for all the different keywords. And the 20 is how much traffic that they're getting per month. So organic keywords is where you're going to show up for all the different keywords you want to rank for. So what we do is a complete search, making sure we get all the keywords for the areas you're trying to target and all the services that you're trying to provide. And you can also use one keyword or phrase for every 125 to 150 words of content. If you do more than that, it's keyword stuffing and you can get docked for, the, for that. So those are a couple of ways why your competitor is ranking on the first page. So if you wanna want to let me know what your schedule looks like, we can dive deeper into your business and figure out exactly what your goals are and how you can reach them. Just go ahead, email me back, and we can get something put together for you. Also, I just, before I go, just wanted to show you, let's see here. Give me one second. I'm just going to type it in again, HVAC. I wanted to show you that Bobby Young, heating and cooling, he would be very easy to beat out because he doesn't even have a website. So ideally, if you get a website going, you can knock him out of the place and you could get up here in the map pack. And super important to be here because 90% of the revenue goes to these business owners up in here. If they find what they're searching for, they don't hit more businesses and they certainly don't go to the next page. Ideally, if you do want, um, you know, income coming in quickly, you can always post one of these Google ads as well. That could be an option for you if you do need more business. But go ahead and feel free to reach out, email me back, and we can talk. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.